Hey guys, just purchased a BR20 rear bumper for your Ram HD. Stick around while we go over a quick video of how to do an install. Thanks. Hey guys, thanks again for joining us. My name is Ben Ramirez with Go Rhino, and joining me today is Pete Kekic with Go Rhino R&D. Now, before we begin, I went ahead and pulled the installation guide and verified that all the uh, parts and hardware are there and, and accounted for. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the install. So the first step for today is we're gonna go ahead and remove the factory rear bumper. Okay guys, so we went ahead and lifted the truck and disconnected the battery. Now, before we begin, we're gonna, the first step is to remove the, uh, the bumper harness and a couple of these plugs back here. There's two plugs you wanna remove, two for the uh, license plate lights, one for the bumper harness, and then the other for the trailer harness. And Ben, you might notice that we removed the factory spare tire. That gives us easier access to get to the trailer plug and the tail light, tail light plugs and the wiring harness. So it's recommended to remove that, give you a little easier access. So I'll go ahead and remove these. There's two license plate sockets, a bumper wire socket, and then the last one that I'm disconnecting is gonna be the trailer plug harness. So the next step you're gonna to wanna to do from here is to remove the bumper. So now the next step is to remove the factory bolts from the receiver. Now for this particular truck, uh, you may notice that there's uh, four bolts. On some other applications, depending on the year, you'll find that you only have two bolts and it'll probably be located on the outer ones. Uh, for this particular install, the outer bolts are gonna be using a 50 millimeter socket while the inners use a 10 millimeter socket. Okay guys. So before we get ready to uh, remove this, we've already went ahead and disconnected the bumper harness and the uh, trailer plug and the license plate lights, and we've removed the four bolts per side. So now the last step is, is to remove these two bolts here, and then you'll be ready to remove the bumper from the truck. And again, this uses a 15 millimeter socket to remove it. Okay, just a note for you guys, this particular vehicle does have park assist, so you can see there's four sensors along the back of the bumper. What you're going to want to do is, uh, you're going to want to mark the location of each of these sensors, driver and passenger side, one and two, or left and right, just so you can uh, index those, because they need to be put back in the uh, bumper replacement in the same order. Okay guys, so now we removed the factory bumper. We went ahead and installed the passenger side uh, bracket, but I'm gonna show you how to install it on the uh, driver's side. Now, if you'll notice, there's two existing nuts that are welded here in the hitch. You're gonna to wanna to use those first for the installation. Um, use the, the factory bolts that came off, and these are the smaller inner ones with the supplied 3 8 washer. So I'm putting these in place just to secure the bracket. Okay, and after this, I'm gonna install the uh, half inch uh, bolts that we supply. So I left the bracket relatively loose. If you notice when you do the install that the brackets are elongated horizontally, and we do that just so you can actually adjust it. If you need to bring the bracket inward or outward, you have that. So the next step is we're gonna get ready to install our bumper. 
Okay guys, so before we install our new bumper on our, on our Ram pickup, um, we did mention previously that uh, some vehicles do come with park assist sensors, uh, and for this particular install, it does. So I'm just gonna go over how to remove each sensor. First thing you're gonna wanna do is to mark each one. Each of these sensors has to go back in the same location and orientation uh, into our new bumper, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is to disconnect the harness plug. And then with the flathead screwdriver, you're gonna wanna pry these tabs a little bit open just to open it up and then push it from the face of it, just to push it through, okay? So now the sensor's out. The housing also will be reused. Slightly pinch it on the outside, be a little careful, and just push it down. Okay? And then you're gonna wanna repeat the same steps for each one. Okay guys, so now we're gonna get ready to install our backup sensors into our rear bumper. When you get your bumper, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have some plastic plugs that uh, fill in the provision. You're gonna wanna pop those out with a rubber mallet, and then you wanna clean the surface with uh, denatured alcohol, okay? So each sensor bezel is location specific, so just make sure that they go back in the same way that you took them off the uh, bumper, okay? So the tape side is gonna go down, the sensor bezel pops into the front, okay? Pop, right that, pop that right in there. And then the same way that the sensor goes in, pops right in there, okay? So what you do, you remove the double-sided tape, and then the notching on each of these sensor bezels is going up. So you just center it, and then you're gonna wanna repeat the same process for each location. All right, guys, so now we already installed each of our uh, sensors into our rear bumper. And before we get this ready to install, we're gonna install one of the last pieces, which is the, uh, the rear trailer uh, plug. So make sure it just plugs right in there, push it through. These silver clips are what's gonna retain it or keep it in place. So we're just gonna pop that through. The flat side's gonna be on the bottom of it. So now that that's secure, we pretty much have this bad boy ready to install. All right, so another trick to the install here, uh, Ben, is actually before you attach the bumper to the frame brackets, I recommend taking a masking type tape or duct tape to cover this, this uh, D-ring hook to uh, keep from scratching it. So, ready to put this bumper on? Yeah, let's get it on there. Okay, so now we got the bumper on, Pete uh, assisted me uh, putting it back on. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of slide it over the uh, D-ring hooks, and then you're gonna wanna go back and uh, install the hardware, it's at two half inch bolts per side that are gonna help fasten the bumper to our brackets and into the frame. Okay, so now we have the bumper safely secured and uh, it's not fully fastened because we're gonna go back and make some final adjustments to it. Um, we're gonna check a couple clearances, uh, mainly with the tailgate and also that this sits nice and close to the vehicle so it, it looks aesthetically correct. Okay, so now we've got this uh, bumper installed. We went ahead and tightened down the, uh, the uh, half-inch bolts that hold the bumper to the brackets. So Pete, tell us what's the next step from here. So next, Ben, what you wanna do is confirm that your bumper alignment's good left to right, up and down, and then you wanna also confirm that the tailgate does clear the top of the bumper, the back lip, before you tighten up the running bolts. So then you would tighten up the bracket bolts that are securing uh, to the frame, to the factory specs, and to the specs specified in the instruction sheet. And that's, that's it, we're ready to go. We just need to finish up the wiring. Okay, now you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, reconnect the uh, trailer plug and also the harness for the backup sensors. Now for this particular step, the conduit needs to be removed in order to get enough slack out of it. Once this is installed, then the last step you need to do is install the, uh, the supplied LED lights. Um, now keep in mind, these need to be hardwired in order to do the install, but this is gonna be the source of light that, for your license plate. So that concludes the install for our BR20 rear bumper on the uh, Ram HD. Um, thanks again for joining us. If, uh, if you guys are interested in more uh, videos on installs or product information, feel free to visit our website or also check out our YouTube channel. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.